to do today. I'm going to make cake on a book, survived. Using these ingredients, we're using butter for the sponge, sugar, flour, eggs, maybe some margarine. These tools to create all the little decorations. Black icing, my mixing bowls, and I'll be using my hand to whisk the cakes and putting the cake together. So, join me throughout the process. Welcome back. This is the whisk that I'll be using. Although I said I'll be using my hand to make the cakes, um, also this will come in handy for things like creaming the butter and the sugar together. And now I'm going to start the preparations for the sponge ingredients. First I'll lay out the flour. Okay. I'm going to lay out three teaspoons of baking powder. And now I go into the next part, is the butter and the sugar. Next, the sugar, which I do need to lay out. And that is also 150 grams. I incorporated the mixture as much as I could with my hand. After a few minutes of whisking, you can see all the, the butter and the sugar mixture is on the sides. So gently get a spoon or a spatula. See from the mixture as it was before, it's getting to that creamy consistency. And that's the look we're going for a nice creamy mixture of the butter and the sugar. So, next, we're mixing all the eggs and the flour and baking powder mixture. Are whisked. So, first I will add a little bit of eggs, then the flour. This is so that the mixture won't curdle. And some milk. You can see some of the flour pockets. So, just make sure everything is mixed in. Can't see any flour, and then it's finished. Two teaspoons of vanilla essence, and incorporate the vanilla essence into the mixture. The mixture is nicely folded and is ready to go into the, the baking tin. With this tin, I can use two choices. You can line it with a greaseproof paper or you can line it with the butter and the flour. So I will line it with the butter and the flour, which I will show you right now. There you have the tape is perfectly lined. And now for the flour. And the mixture goes in. Smooth the mixture out. As you can see, it's a flat cake. It's not going to be enough for the book um, cake that I want to do, so I'm going to have to make another mixture after. And it'll be easier to sandwich the two cakes together. In the middle will go the buttercream and maybe some jam. Stick a knife in the middle. And there's no residue, no mixture on the cake. So we know that is ready. It's turned out very nicely. This is the second mixture. Now this stage is the buttercream. And what I'm going to use for that, we either do the simple method, which is just butter and icing sugar. I like to add Philadelphia cheese to give it more of a cre creamier taste. 
Um, you also can use the icing sugar butter with milk. Also had a little bit of vanilla essence to give it that extra kick in taste. I've cut the cake into um, a rectangle and it's already looking like a book. <laughs> now, as you can see on the board, um, it's already in a rectangular shape, a little smaller than the actual book, but once the icing gets on and everything, then you'll see that it's uh, more or less the same size. So, in order to get the roundness of the spine of the book. I'm going to have to do some chiseling to this side of the cake to round it off. And as you can see here, a little bit of indentation to show you that there's the pages and on the side. So what I'm going to do now is get a knife and I'm going to do it as uh, round as possible as it is for the As you can see, the cake has been uh, sculpted into uh, as much of a, a book as possible and the rounded edges. So now I'm going to uh, start the next process. First, I'm going to cover the cake so that the icing will stick onto the cake. Now that the cake is covered in the buttercream, it's ready to put the icing onto the cake. Now that it's all kneaded, all the air bubbles are out, make sure it fits the sides of the cake. As you can see, that's the cake under there. And the icing is rolled out to the sides. And now just to get the trimming off. can see I've already started here. Let's get that around this of the book. This book requires a silhouette black figure. Which, uh, I've actually cut the pieces out. I traced uh, the actual cover of the book and I made um, three figures that I need to cut around and these are the figures. They actually go together like this. As you can see, the next stage, um, I rolled out the black icing into a thin uh, consistency. And as you can see, the silhouette is looking very, very close. 